Have you ever wondered what it's like to be inside the Cardinal huddle? We joined Jared Cruzy during a recent walkthrough. So you've got to make those two dudes believe you're coming right here, right now, okay? If you do that, you can, you can pull the protection to you and then you know how to beat it, okay? Go ahead. And these times are great for us because, you know, all the stuff on the field is great. The physical part of the game is very much obviously a part of the game, but you can't do the physical until you know the mental. So the walkthrough periods that we have uh, for the NCAA that allows us to do uh, without any equipment on, you know what, for me and our players know this because I, I talk to them about this all the time, is this is one of the best times of the day for us that we can come in here and go through things mentally and, and uh, work on our calls, work on different understanding of football. You can't overlook the mental side of what we do because it's so important to everything we do. Um, so today's you know, walkthrough period in here was very, very good as we talked about protections and we talked from a defensive standpoint how to beat protections. And then uh, you know, defensively, if, if you can understand defensively how an offense is portraying you or looking at you and how they are uh, reacting to what you do, you can essentially be a step ahead. Well, all we're doing is switching you guys in the tackle. It's the same as Siren. Tim and Heater kind of. What's that? Heat and Tim are the exact opposite. Right, right, exactly. It's just the exact opposite look in the front. Does that make sense? Yeah. You've got the back, and you know it, right? You know you got the back. So I'm here in that, on the weak side A gap. We're bringing SS over there, right? I'm pulling the protection to me. All right, on the snap, where am I going to go? Okay, here we go. Run it. Here we go, run it. If you're not mentally prepared, you might as well, you know, the physical part of it, uh, you know, you should be prepared when you get to camp for the physical part of it. Now, you, you can't prepare yourself over the summer for a lot of the, the banging and the, uh, you know, hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, battle type things that, that you get in this game. Uh, but that part of it comes and, and the individual technique and movement stuff comes and that stuff is repetitious. The mental side of it, Speed, B gap, exactly. So in this situation, would you need to play a six or could you cheat it? You know speed tells me to go through the V of the ne neck of the tackle. I wouldn't play a five, I'd play a seven, okay? But you know you're going through the V of the neck of the tackle, which will put you in C gap if he kicks to you. Okay, does that make sense? Understand this, Hayden. They're going to want to keep bigs on bigs as much as they can, okay? So they'll, they'll turn the protection to him before they'll turn it to an edge pressure. So they want to take the back there, turn the protection this way. I split my time up during practice and during meetings, and, and, and I'm in every meeting room, and I'm in every, you know, on every side of the ball, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams. But because of you know, my roots and, and maybe uh, some things I've been involved with for a long period of time, here especially, um, you know, it's, I still want to coach too. Sometimes as a head coach, you you uh, get labeled as an administrator, and that's a lot of what you do. But, you know, I, I do this because I love the kids and I love coaching. I love the X's and O's. I love the scheme part of it. And uh, so I want to coach too. Bring the first group back out here again. First group back out here. Do you have anything regular you want to cover? To recover? Or nickel SS? Or did you go through SS? We can do SS. Okay. We can do SS. We did it. We did it. Let's go uh, a one nickel, one nickel, one nickel, one nickel. Go ahead, you call it. Okay, good. Coach Trowbridge probably gets a little frustrated sometimes when I'm jumping in drills and, and uh, excuse me, jumping in team time and, and uh, you know, doing some of those things. But he understands, and he understands that that's why I'm here too. I want to coach, and if I can add some insight, I'll, I'll do that. And, and uh, it's a very good relationship there, and I, I think it works well for our kids. That means they're going to do what with these guys? They're going to go, they're going to turn the protection back. All right, they're going to turn the protection here. They're going to take the back off of this side, all right, in the quarterback face so he can see it because if he misses, now he can see it, all right? You've got to know where to go before you can go there. And if you don't know that first, you can be as physically prepared as you want. If you don't know the mental side of it, none of the, none of it mat none of the other physical stuff matters. So the mental side of the game gets overlooked a whole lot. And at the end of the day, that's really probably the most important part of the game.